Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about field service appointments and what a field service tech does on their mobile device to start to make any changes and to complete a field service appointment. So here you see our list of appointments. And if we go back and we go into appointments fresh, you'll see the appointment list in order. And you have a couple of filters here. Of course, I can see today's appointments. I don't have anything current, so I'm looking at all. You can also click here to filter, and you could filter by staff member. By default, Acumatica will filter by the user that's currently logged in. I have that blanked out because I'm not the user that has any field service appointments. You can also filter by date, but by default, Acumatica will do 30 days. So you can also see behind this screen, in my mobile app emulation, the actual appointment. And you can see it's 6294-6. Acumatica uses that hyphen for service orders where there's more than one appointment. So in this case, there appears to be six appointments for the given service order. But you can see the date and all the information here. If we click on details, you can see there's one line here. It's air conditioning repair service. And if we go back to our mobile app and we search for that appointment, we scroll down to the number six appointment, open it up. You can see your appointment here. Estimated duration is an hour. The actual duration will get filled in as we continue and complete this appointment. And we have the ability to view this appointment on the map. So what this will do is this, this opens up the web, but you can have, and in this case, it's, it's an Android mobile system, but you can have your mobile operating system pick the default app. You could select your directions here. I'm going to go back by using my back uh, gesture. And I can see the entire appointment here. I can see all sorts of details. I'll click on the service details. This is to say the service items that I need to complete. So we have this air conditioning repair service. It's not started. There could be additional items here. And if you have the rights as a field service tech, you can add additional items. So you can click on add new here. Maybe you realize that something else is necessary. So you can do a lookup. And this allows you to do a lookup on parts that maybe you need. So maybe, for example, we need wire. So there's a wire harness here. Maybe squirrels got into the air conditioner wiring harness and we have to replace it. So we can put that in here. And of course, this is going to pull from our wholesale warehouse. But typically, you would create a warehouse for the truck, for my truck so that I have some of these parts on hand. Assuming it's not too expensive, you'll keep it on the truck. If it's an expensive item, then what you'll do is you'll add it to the service ticket and then come back for it after the appointment's been rescheduled. But we can add this and click check. So now we have an inventory item and we have a service item. Now, if we need an additional service item here, to install the wire harness, we could do that as well. So we can hit the plus button and add new. We could do that like we did before. But additionally, we also have the ability to select a number of items. So this brings up a list of, again, a bunch of items that we can select. And we could also search here. And maybe we need an additional item to install the wiring harness. So I can search for that. I'm sure I'm not going to find exactly what I'm looking for. But I'll simply select the repair service again. And I'll click on this ellipse and add and close. So now I have this additional service item. Actually, it looks like a different one. This is for installation. But if I click on it, I can make changes to this if I have the rights. And I can put my estimated quantity in. But at the end of the day, I'm going to tell it how long it's going to take my actual time. And I can save this. So now I've updated this field services appointment with 
the correct information. And again, if I click the checkbox here and refresh here, the office knows everything that's going on with this. Now, in Acumatica, we have a lot of flexibility. We can use this to create dashboards, to show that so many line items are being added at the current moment. We can also do things like put a business event in here and send a notification to somebody in the company because now they know that you're rewiring the wiring harness on an AC unit. Maybe it requires somebody to know that. But nonetheless, you get a great deal of reporting in Acumatica as and when things are happening. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start our appointment. So if we go up here to the appointments and we click on start, that is to say you probably would have started the appointment before you discovered the wiring harness was bad. But maybe we had some additional information and we realized it before even starting. So now we have this in process. Now we can go in and look at these items, the service items, and we're getting the wiring harness out of the truck. So we'll put that in process. And we're going to start rewiring the wiring harness. And then depending upon how long it takes, of course we have an estimate of an hour, we can put that quantity in here. And once we're done, we can click the checkbox. It's taken an hour and a half to do this work. And now we can finish our air conditioning repair service. Maybe there's troubleshooting steps or there's complete tests that we need to run in order to make sure that this is what we needed to do. And notice the actual quantity, Acumatica doesn't let us change this. That's because this service item is not something that we want to track the actual quantity. It is something that we know that it's an hour and we're not looking for our field service tech to make changes to that particular item. Additionally, we can go into the log and if there's anything that we've done, you notice that the log is keeping track of, for example, the fact that we started and we're in process with the repair service, that we're in process with the rewiring of the AC harness. So the log is continuing to get updated here. And if we go back to our Acumatica and we click on log and refresh, you can see the very same thing here under these line items. So, but if we needed to, we can click plus here and add some additional logs. So maybe somebody came out to help us. Maybe Maxwell Baker came out to help us. And maybe Maxwell Baker did something there. And maybe that additional time was an hour. And here's the labor item ID, so you can change this if you need to. Apprentice, consulting. And then once you're done, you can click check. So now this additional item was added as a log entry and as a costing entry to the service ticket. Just a log. We also, you may notice that we can add travel time here too. So if we click on travel time, we have the ability to put a start and a time in here. So at the end, we can click on totals to see what the total is that we've, we're running here. So we have a $1,507 total, but how do we make that up? We could see it all here. The cost in these kinds of fields will show up only if the field service technician has the ability to see that. That's stuff you can hide if you don't want it visible. And if we go back to the summary and we click on our ellipse here, we can also have the customer sign the field service ticket. So you could show them the information and have them sign off on it with their finger on the mobile device. Click OK on that. Additionally, you can see a preview report. So this is actually using the same form that's in Acumatica, but you can show the customers this. And when you're all completed and you're ready to go, you can click on the finished button and mark this complete. So now back at Acumatica, if we refresh this, you'll see all of that stuff updated. You'll see that the lines are completed. Uh, under details, you can see all three service items are done, including the inventory item that we provided to the customer. 
And now all of this can get billed. So from here, of course, we have the ability to create our invoice. After we close this, then we can run our billing cycle. And of course, all of this can be done through our processes screen to be able to do all of them at the end of the day and email out your invoices. So that's Acumatica's field service appointments. This is the perspective uh, from the mobile app. If you have any questions about this or anything else, Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day. Thanks again for supporting our channel and subscribing.